In case you've missed it, the news is Islam is on the march across Europe, gaining more power and influence all the time. But in Germany, one Christian woman has taken a very public stand against it. That went viral on YouTube. She became known on the internet simply as the brave German woman. Last year, when a Muslim imam was invited to give the call to prayer inside a historic German church, she stood up and shouted to the congregation that Jesus Christ and not Allah is Lord of Germany. Jesus Christus allein ist Herr über Deutschland. Ich zerbreche diesen Fluch. And she repeated the words of Martin Luther in 1521 when he was defending his belief in Scripture alone. The YouTube video and the story about her by CBN News have both gone viral on the Internet. By publicly attacking the lie of Islam, she has placed her own life at risk because she has a burden for the spiritual rebirth of Germany. Well, it was an amazing display, and joining us now on our set is the brave German woman herself, Heidi Moon. Heidi, so good to have you with us. Thank you. Thank you, Pat. Why did you decide to do, make this stand? Why? Of course, I have to do it. I'm a Christian and I have to stand up. Yes. It's just the easy answer. Well, what is happening in Germany? Is, is Islam encroaching and taking over the country, do you think? It looks like it would be, okay. really, and uh, it uh, became fast in the last years. But uh, you went into a church and that was what was happening. It was some sort of an interfaith service with an imam leading the service. Tell me about that. No, he didn't uh, lead it, but uh, they invited him to, to be a part of a concert. Uh -huh. And uh, the whole concert was a concert, but he was real, a real Islam, uh, uh, imam. That means he is a teacher of Islam. Uh -huh. And by the way, for me, they are the worst. Well, you use those great words with Martin Luther. If I can't be persuaded from reason in the scripture, here I stand. And did you say that, those words specifically? Yes, I, I said them because I read them some minutes before, yeah. and they came up to my mind just in this in that min, uh, that minute, and I know it it was not by accident. What have you heard from your German compatriots, your fellow citizens, since that time? You've had a lot of publicity. Yeah, it was strange because not uh, only um, out of the world I, I got emails and uh, encouragements, but also from my fellow believers in Germany. Mm -hmm. How strong is the church in Germany now? How strong is the church? Oh, <laughs> difficult question. Um, out of uh, my point of view, uh, the church is weak. Mm -hmm. But we are... Um, we are doing some things, uh, especially uh, we in, in the, on the 7th of May, we will do an, an international Jesus march uh, through Frankfurt. Mm -hmm. It will be the seventh uh, time in uh, Frankfurt. And by the way, everyone is invited to come yeah. on the 17th of uh, May. Please come and uh, join us uh, to, to show Jesus strong in the streets of Frankfurt. And uh, on the other side, um, uh, God uh, called me to, uh, to found or to start a free Christian university mm. in uh, Germany. Uh -huh. And I'm looking for partners, still mm. looking for partners to help me, uh, that we really can train uh, strong Christian leaders in Germany because there's a lack of them and also a lack of uh, Christian teachers. And, Pat? Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. Are we... Uh, we'll start a new program, a radio program, mm. uh, to spread the gospel because the people in Germany, they need the word of God. They need it, and we need a spiritual rebirth of Germany, as you saw. What happened? You know, this was the home of Martin Luther. This was the home of one of the yes. great uh, theological uh, universities in the world. Uh, you had a tradition that goes way back. What happened? Did, did Hitler obliterate all that uh, during the Nazi era, or wh where did the faith go? Uh, I think uh, several several points came uh, came together. Um, mm -hmm. uh, excuse me that I say it, but I think also the uh, alliances, including the Americans, uh, they helped to. Uh, um, 
sorry, forgive me, but uh, we don't have an identity at the moment. The, the Germans. The we, Germans. We have a lack of uh, identity. Uh, we we are not proud of our flag. We are not proud and thankful for our land, mm -hmm. uh, for our uh, language. And this is a real lack because when we don't love our country, we will not protect it. But we have to protect it at the moment. Mm -hmm. So that means the Christian have to stand up, and also the other people they have to recognize what happens in the moment. If we don't realize it and and recognize it in, in the moment, mm -hmm. we will lose it. Well, you know, your former Prime Minister Schroeder uh, was a buddy of the Russians. He serves on the board of Gazprom now, and it looks like Putin is using gas to, uh, to uh, manipulate Europe. Do you have any thoughts about what's going on in the Ukraine? Uh, yes, I have my own thoughts because I grew up in East Germany, so um, <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't trust them, but I also don't trust the European Union. Um, what I see at the moment is they play a game mm. and we are in the midst of them and uh, when we see the European uh, countries we see uh, everywhere the same. We see that uh, the people from the left corner uh, they take, want to take over and uh, including Islam and mm. this is a dangerous situation and uh, I had just because before I came to this, uh, these minutes I had this uh, song on my heart uh, an army is rising up to break every chain and this mm -hmm. is the main thing. We all Christians, we have to stand up for the rights, mm -hmm. for truth, for the word of God, for Jesus Christ. And this is the answer to the world, you, you know, Pat, yeah, that yes. uh, we are the light, we are the salt of this sure. earth. Well, you're a very brave woman and I appreciate you and I think the whole uh, Christian world applauds you and we, we Thank you. our prayers are with you. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Pat. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, one courageous person, Martin Luther, hung up some theses and he said, here I stand, and uh, he stood. So this lady, Heidi, is standing, so stand with her.